This is Pixie Dust. Today we're celebrating her gotcha day. One year ago was her adoption day. I'm Dr. Jessica Diaz. Between training and practicing veterinary medicine, I have 25 years of experience. I also have a master's in cardiovascular pharmacology, a PhD in neuroscience. I'm also certified in veterinary acupuncture, Chinese medicine herbal, Chinese medicine food therapy, but none of that really matters. Not to this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, because my pets see the real me, just like your pets see the real you. So one year ago today, we came home with pixie dust. There are several stories that I could tell you about little pixie dust. This little nugget has stopped traffic two times. Um, one was at the dog park where it has kind of a little um, U-shaped little drive that's kind of one way. And there was one time where I was walking both pixie and mango and some lady stopped in the middle of the little U-shaped little drive and was going on and gushing about how cute little pixie dust was. And there was somebody behind her. And I was like, thank you very much, but please go. There's somebody behind you wanting to get out. Um, and then the other time was the apartment complex where we live. Um, it has a pretty big road outside where in front of where we where we live. It's two lanes going one way and two lanes going the other, and it has a left turn lane in the in the middle. And we usually make when we're walking outside, we make kind of a loop around the complex, and we go for a little bit by the road, and um, and then back around through the rest of the complex. So the it's it's like forty where on the main main drag there and there was one day where I was walking both pixie and, and mango and some again some ladies stopped right in the middle <laughs> there's not really any shoulder or anything anywhere there's si sidewalks and then immediately the five five lanes so no shoulder or anything and this lady stopped and she was like going on and on about how cute pixie was and I was just like oh my gosh but thank you but please go because you're gonna you're gonna get hit so she stopped traffic two times and then there was another time where somebody stopped me at the dog park asking me if if a pixie was Betty from Will Trent. And I was like, I don't know what Will Trent is. I don't watch TV, so I had to Google it later on. But that little Betty is a black, little black and tan, and Pixie's a blondie, so I don't know how they got that. But she stops traffic and she gets attention from other people. But it wasn't always that way for her. She had a rough little beginning. So let me start at the beginning. So here we are on the day that I brought Pixie home from the shelter. I had asked the shelter, I had wanted one regular adoption and one hospice adoption. So I came, Pixie came home with her brother Possum, the little hospice adoption. That little guy has passed and I'll make a little video with him in the, in the future. But today we're celebrating Pixie's gotcha day. So there they are on our first, first day. We were so happy to find each other. And they slept the whole way home, bless their hearts. Pixie wasn't always stopping traffic. When she was found by animal control, she had this large tumor mass over her left eye that was kind of dangling there and um, sometimes it would even kind of flop over in, into her eye and obstruct her her vision so when she had developed that whoever had her before she did the animal control found her with a collar on um, a red tattered collar and she was found under an overpass so she had this tumor on her face and somebody dumped her dumped her out so somebody else's trash has been my my treasure for the past year. We've had a lot of fun this year.